Hey everyone, a Complex back with another video, and today's video is, well, it's wicked exciting. Uh, today we got access to all of the rewards if you participated in um, the Somerset community extravaganza, if you will, a few weeks ago. Uh, so as you can see, I have my Asijic pony, and then also I have my Sijic horse, as you can see, and oh my gosh, I'm in love with them both. They're both so adorable. I love, I love like the glowing eyes and everything like that. It's just, oh, it's good. But the Peace Day Resistance is the Sijic villa that we got, and uh, let's go check that out. So here's my, I mean, when they said they were giving us a free house if we 100% completed the community event, I didn't think we were going to get a notable house. I, I thought we were going to get, I don't, like, I wasn't expecting like a tiny apartment or anything like that, but I wasn't expecting this. I mean, my goodness, I don't even know what to, like, this is going to take years upon years to decorate. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a brief unfurnished tour of the place. Um, after I made this video, or recorded this footage rather, I actually went back in and then put some of my meager furnishings in. And oh my gosh, this place is going to take so much effort to decorate, but I am so excited. And I promise to give you the grand tour once it is 100% decorated because... It's going to be stunning. Like, I'm just so excited. Um, so the house, if you have ESO Plus like I do, uh, you get uh, 700 furnishing space for, like, regular items. Um, without ESO Plus, I believe that would be 350, which, given the size of the house, is is a, is a tad small without, e I mean, even with ESO Plus, but without especially. Um, but the nice thing is, because this place is so big, when you go to decorate, you can easily use some of the huge pieces of furniture um, or huge statues and stuff like that that are available. And to fill in a lot of space without um, having to, you know, worry about ke keeping your count low on like physical items. And some of this area, like some of this back area and stuff like that is stunning as is. And I almost don't feel like it needs decorating, like maybe off to one of the sides with the staircases. I'll be adding in like, I think I saw um, somebody on the PTS server mention that there's like boats coming as house items. So p potentially like adding like a boat um, for some kind of like dock or something like that would probably be all that I'm going to be adding to like down the stairs. Um, and I honestly think the landscape as is is, is pretty stunning. Um, and I don't feel like we really need a ton of decoration, if any. Um, I mean, maybe some big trees would be nice and stuff like that. But if I don't get around to it, no big deal. I am trying to find a spot for some kind of barn structure. Like, I want something for my horses. Um, and so, like, that would be the only thing I need to find a spot for and figure out how to make successfully. Um, but other than that, like, seriously, the outdoor area is just, it's enchanting all on its own, which I'm really grateful for because editing landscape, like, doing, out, like, the front of a house is always a little intimidating because it's, like, the first thing that people see. So it's really nice that the house that they gave us for free, for free. Is, is this beautiful. And if you are wondering how to get this house, um, you had to participate in the community event where you had to get the um, Pathfinder achievement in Somerset, or you just needed to own Somerset and have logged in by October 7th. And then you should have gotten the rewards either, um, or you should have gotten the rewards rather by October 10th. So if you did participate, um, and you didn't get the rewards, just make sure you reload your game, check your collections UI, um, especially under the housing section. If you don't see it there, then I'd um, contact Zoss and they should hopefully get it squared away for you. But so that's, this is like all of the outside of this house. I mean, it keeps going. Like the downside is you can't ride a horse and I feel like we need to, <laughs> to like, I mean, do you see this? It just keeps going. 
like it keeps going and you can actually swim in some of this ocean water which is awesome so if you are one who likes to swim in the ocean then there you go i was actually looking at one of the notable homes that you need an achievement for and i think it's like something like a million gold or whatever and i was like oh maybe one day nope nope i'm good now i don't i don't need anything else now um but let's let's head inside because i want to show you the interior because it is just as bonkers if not slightly more so um than the outside so with the inside of the house it's got two floors kind of um like this room i'm thinking maybe a kitcheny kind of area and then it's got this like huge grand hallway and then across the way is another room. And I'm thinking this room is probably going to be an office of sorts. Um, I always like office slash libraries in homes because they're just stunning. Um, and then so you've got these two upstairs areas and they're both identical. I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. Like, I, I mean, there are definitely things that you can do with these spaces. It's just... I mean, you can put like tables and chairs, you can put uh, various like, I don't know, bookcases and, and like little cozy areas, but holy crap, it's huge. It is utterly huge. I mean, you could try dividing some of it up with like dividers and all that good stuff, but ooh. And then a straight through um, to what would probably be like the back of the house is this little darling area, which I gotta tell you, I am obsessed with. It's kind of a ruiny ish area with like some of the rubble and this and that. And it's got like, I don't want to call it a swimming pool cause it's not, it's like ankle deep ish, but it's got this little water area. And I love, love, love this spot. I'm thinking I'm going to turn it into kind of like a living room ish kind of thing like it'll be cozy I'm thinking of putting like big tables some couches lots of rugs lots of candles all this good stuff I feel like the majority of my decorating will actually be in there um and then off either side of that main doorway is two separate little rooms uh this room is probably gonna be my bedroom because it's got <laughs> it's got the fireplace but you've got like this nice cozy area i think i'm gonna put like i have one of those huge bathtubs that you can get in the game um i'm gonna probably put one of those in a corner with like a dividing um like one of those nice dividers and stuff like that um and then the bedroom in the second part and then on the other side is another bedroom it doesn't have a fireplace so i'm thinking guest room i mean every every villa needs a guest room right ish um the other thing is if i eventually get all the craft tables i'm thinking i'm gonna actually just turn this into a workshop of sorts so i can do all the various forms of crafting and stuff like that uh so that pretty much sums up the Grand Sigic Villa Tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed exploring it with you. If you have the Sigic Villa, what are your thoughts on it? I am ultra, ultra curious on how you guys are feeling about your new villa. That's gigantic. But guys, thank you so much for chilling with me today. I cannot wait to show you the decorated version of the villa. Hopefully I will have that up soon, but we all know how long decorating can take with a place this big. But again, thank you so much for chilling with me. It has been an absolute blast as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.